global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. You know that uh, when these Fulani guys make promise, they don't delay in delivering. A few days ago, we heard that they are going to jump into uh, action by creating um, a national vigilante group where they will have to you know, have their presence in the 36 states of Nigeria. And already, it seems everything is working out as the national president, Meiti Allah. Abdullahi Bodejo says that its vigilante members are already present in all 36 states of the country. He said that Meiti Allah which planned to officially unveil its vigilante group on August 27, already has its member embedded with the vigilante group of Nigeria VGN. According to Son Obodejo explained that the group decided to partner with VGN and register security Alfred, whose commander general Captain Usman Jahun retired, is a Fulani. He explained that the VGN is already operating in every state and draw members from across the nation, including some Fulanis. He reiterated that the Meiti Allah Vigilante was formed to protect. Fulani that have been killed across the country. He noted that there was no justification for opposing the security outfit since other ethnic groups have theirs. But he just said, and I quote, he said, if they kill Fulani, they will say it is Fulani who did the killing. If they kill some people, they will say it is Fulani. And if they burn down Fulani settlement and Fulani carry out reprisal, it is only the Fulani they would mention. Fulani will always be mentioned in these problems even when they were not involved. That is why we decided to approach the VGN commander to collaborate with him to train our vigilante outfit. Before now, there was no military vigilante in the country, but now if you see the VGN all over the country, you will see the Fulani because they are already operating under that VGN. What we are doing now is to identify the Fulanis in the VGN security outfit. In some places, there are hundred and more in some places. We can organize them and differentiate them between the VGN and we can have them in all the 36 states, including the FCT Abuja. Wow. So just to show you that uh, all hands are already on deck to see how they can infiltrate all the states in Nigeria. According to them, 36 states on the 27th of August, that is what we should be expecting. And looking at this already, these guys have threatened uh, that uh, Biafra had threatened that if they form, if they have the presence of the Fulani vigilante in the southeast, that certainly they will also form a vigilante in the, um, the, north. In the north. Now, looking at this, and with what is ongoing, do you think that uh, it's things are going to go well in Nigeria? Where now that everybody seems to be having their vigilante, this is even very sad because now that they their own is not even if it's just having vigilante, like they rightly said, every every region is having their own vigilante. Why should Fulani's own be different? But their own is different because theirs is now national, meaning while others are going on regional, Amateko is regional, you know, and then this um, Operation Lions work is also regional. So why are they, though Operation Lions work is not officially launched, but of of course it's uh, known in some part of the southern east, southeastern part of Nigeria. But the fact that uh, Fulani Vigilante is nationwide, and you can imagine how they entered using Vigilante Group of Nigeria, VGN. One wouldn't even suspect anything. And according to Bodejo, now Bodejo just quickly exposed us to the fact that there is a Vigilante Group of Nigeria of which majority of the people in there are Fulanis. And the the head, the president in that group is actually a retired, that's the commander general, that's Captain Usman Jahun, is a retired Fulani man. We didn't know that. And which means all this while, what we were thinking was normal, just a, they had actually established all those. You can't wake up on money and say this uh, VGN should be deregistered. They've been known. They've been there. So they're just using that umbrella now to launch out. Now they're saying they're going to use the same people to train up. 
I, I don't know, honestly, do I, don't forget Southern Cardona is going through, is under siege right now. Mm. So much has happened. I don't know if, that, I don't think Nigeria will last up to 2023. Honest opinion from me. Maybe God had something he's doing for us in this country. But honestly, the way it's going, is getting overly heated up. Vigilantes everywhere, security, unrest everywhere. It's pathetic. And now what they are saying, now they, they have successfully said we should keep a date, August 57th. If today they are launching theirs, national level, not even regional level. It's sad. But with what the NMD Kanu have said, I wonder if he's also thinking of preparing his boys to, as you say, IPOP members also in the north. Because obviously while uh, Brother Joe was talking, he was preparing things on ground. Yeah. He wasn't just talking. So right now by 27, who even knows? 27 may be the official date, but they may launch it on the 25th. So that you would think it's 27, they've already launched it. It's rather sad, honestly. All right. Um, looking at what he said, talking about uh, reprisal, that uh, unfortunately, the everything that happened in Nigeria, everyone points finger at uh, Fulani, that most of the time the Fulanis have been attacked and nobody will say anything when they carry out reprisal attack. That's when everybody will start pointing fingers at them. And he said that the purpose of the vigilante actually is to protect protect Fulani. You know, before now, we're talking about security for entirety of Nigeria, but he's more emphatic about protection for the Fulanis. So, looking at this, do you think that uh, most of the environment that are under attack, for example, South, uh, Southern Kaduna, do you think that it was a case of uh, a reprisal attack, or they just decided to attack those guys? I could still remember sometime in the past they said there's this general saying they usually say then that um, one Fulani, any one Fulani you, you kill or maim is, is, a, is a debt owed into the future which will be fully be paid. It's coming to pass already but my fear now is the fact that the non Fulanis that are Nigerians are in trouble because um, if you look critically there's no place that the Fulani man is not in, in Nigeria. Go to South East, they're there. Maybe in numbers, but they're there. Go to Lagos, they're there. Go to West, North. They're everywhere. Now, they're now saying they want to create a national vigilante, which means they're going to be protecting all their members. <laughs> Roga, you're talking about Roga is... If Roga does not come from East, it's coming from Wars. Mm -hmm. So one way or the other, if you have not given us Roga, we are going to set up a security outfit, which we will collect that Roga by force. It's not mm -hmm. by choice anymore. Now imagine, we they say, give us land for our cows, our, our cattle, you say, you know, they decide to come into your, your farmland and eat whatever you have planted there. You make noise, the vigilante that is in that state will come and... In. They don't even have vigilante, people are shouting. <laughs> they don't have vigilante yet, though. They are making waves. Imagine when they now have vigilante with security backing them up. Mm. They, South, I don't know what Southerners are doing. Even if you check the Senate, South are behaving the same way. You can yeah. imagine the Southern Kaduna uh, Senator talking as if he was not he was not duly elected. He was behaving as if it was an appointment that was given to him by the executive. How can you be you're representing the people and the, the people are being maimed and, 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 and so much social men, uh, menaces upon them? And you're talking about it very casually. You have no plans. You're just saying, well, well, eh? An elected senator? You, you can't see that in other parts. It's rather unfortunate. The way we are looking at this country, God will need to deliberately help us. I don't know what's going to happen. You can imagine the excitement. But DJ mm -hmm. doesn't talk. The other time he said something, he had to start to rephrase, but I knew he said, spoke his mind. It's coming to pass. Mm -hmm. Just a few days ago, we talked about, we heard about Al-Qaeda coming in. Exactly. With the Boko Haram having the, a few the, the security chiefs seem not to have any grip of the security network, what is happening so, so, uh, in so Southern Kaduna. Look at what is happening in Southern Kaduna. And now they are forming a vigilante. And as we still speak, the president, I'm not referring to the presidency, I'm referring to the president, have not spoken extensively, assured Nigerians that, look, if we are on top of our no, job, exactly. we are doing something about it, don't be scared. So that all this unnecessary tension we are having won't be so scared about it. Instead, it is even the presidency, by the virtue of Femi Adesina, who said the revolutionary protest that was had, that was done some days back, he said it's child's play. Mm -hmm. Is that an irritation? Now, coming from a spokesman of, of the president, it, it speaks volume. And the president has not even come to address, I'm talking about president, I've not come to address Nigerians with all this everywhere. 
Why wouldn't people talk about secession? By the time you look at the senators, look at just Fendi recently, Janina, who who was a whistleblower in this case, the table <laughs> have turned. The hunted, <laughs> the, the hunter, hunter. <laughs> the hunter have become the hunty, the hunted. You can now see that sometimes you begin to wonder: Is it worth it to expose what you know? And now you can imagine the Senate, based on what uh, Pon Bonte Ponte was saying, he's now beginning to turn the fingers and say, "Look." Uh, Senate, you are accusing me. Now we, we, now we, we chop this thing. So you now begin to wonder if the Senate is not helping and the security chiefs, the security network is so porous. I think the best thing people are now thinking of the only option now, restructuring will not. Unfortunately, it won't work because the people you are putting to do to bring in the restructuring, actually, it's the same people that are not even honestly interested in your life. They don't right even now, care. They're just thinking, they can trade you for anything. Do you understand? So, so you, many things you, staring at our face. You just see that. Honestly, it takes mm. God's intervention. And with this Fulani is coming in boldly, nobody has stopped them. Nobody, no, nobody's assuring Nigerians anything. That's the bad path. Well, you've heard it all. And um, right now, I think every Nigerian should be fully involved in the act of praying for God to salvage us. I, I was reading through the Twitter today. I saw one guy and he made a very candid suggestion. He said, hey, the best thing is to take a walk. Everybody should be thinking of taking a walk. But we, this is our country. Why are, should we be leaving our country for strangers? It belongs to us. So I think everyone needs to, because this is far, far beyond us. The president some few days ago talked about the fact that he has, this administration, have done their best when it comes to security. And already we've been alerted that Al-Qaeda have come in, and who knows what is going to happen next. Fulani headmen who were talking about creating um, this thing, uh, vigilante. Hopefully, I was thinking that they were going to, their present in all the 36 states will help them to, they will help the security to fight um, this thing, like this Al Qaeda that are, <laughs> that are coming in. But hey, instead, they're looking at their selfish gain, how they can protect their own people, maybe, and also help them to do whatever they feel like doing, and nobody will have to say anything. However, Let's just keep praying. We are hopeful that God will deliver us. Uh, that's where we would like to live.